welcome back. Uh, we are going to discuss uh, some more application of Fourier transform on R in PDE. So, in previous lectures, we have seen the application in the heat equation and we have seen the application in for the Laplacian equation. Uh, so, now uh, uh, let us consider the wave equation. one dimensional wave equation that is uh, u t t is equal to some c times u x x on r cross time variable t is positive and u of x, uh, x 0 t equal to 0, this is equal to phi of x, this is on r and u t of x 0, this is equal to sub psi of x on r. So, now for the time being, let us assume that our phi and psi are nice functions. So, we know that by d Lambert's principle, formula u of x t is given by 1 by 2 phi of x minus c t plus phi of x plus c t and plus 1 by 2 c integral x minus c t x plus c t psi of s d s. So, which means what it says that uh, the solution uh, what at the point x and t what we need to do suppose this is uh, uh, x then this is x t. So, we are taking the average of this. Okay. So, this is what we know. So, now how does one interpret this formula uh, with the help of Fourier transform that is what we would uh, we are interested to find out. Now, uh, as we have mentioned we are taking this to be nice class of function. So, this what we can write is that this is we will write the Fourier inversion formula for phi, this is equal to minus infinity to infinity phi hat of xi e to the power 2 pi i xi x minus c t and uh, then d xi plus minus infinity to infinity uh, phi hat of xi e to the power 2 pi i xi x plus c t d j and then the other one is 1 by 2 c x minus c t to x plus c t and then minus infinity to infinity psi s is equal to psi hat at xi e to the power 2 pi i xi s d j then d s. This is what uh, is the by the Fourier transform. So, now what one get is that with the simple calculation one sees that this is uh, minus infinity to infinity phi hat of xi e to the power 2 pi i j x into the first integral will going to give you e to the power minus 2 pi i j c t and the second one is going to give me uh, 2 pi i xi c t, then this is d xi, this is the first one. And then again the second one is uh, 1 by 2 c x minus, so, so 
what we can do is that this is minus infinity to infinity psi hat at xi and then uh, uh, e to the power this is uh, x minus c to x c t to x plus c t e to the power 2 pi i xi s d s d j. So, now this is 1 by 2 minus infinity to infinity phi hat of xi e to the power 2 pi i j x and then this is cos 2 times cos 2 pi j c t d j and this is now minus infinity to infinity. So, if uh, we are writing this then if we integrate this is going to be psi hat of xi 1 by 2 c psi hat of xi then this is e to the power 2 pi i xi s the s integral is 2 pi i xi and then this is x minus c t to x plus c t then this is d j. So, this becomes 1 by 2 minus infinity to infinity phi hat of xi e to the power 2 pi i xi x uh, 1 by 2 goes away here. So, we have cos 2 pi xi c t d j plus now this one is going to be equal to if I take a uh, e to the power j x plus c t minus uh, e to the power j uh, x. So, 1 by 2 c minus infinity to infinity psi hat of xi then 1 by 2 pi i xi and then this is e to the power 2 pi i xi x plus c t minus e to the power 2 pi i xi x minus of c t this d j and uh, this phi hat of xi e to the power 2 pi i j x cos 2 pi xi c t d xi plus this one is uh, 1 by 4 pi i c minus infinity to infinity psi hat of xi divided by xi and then this is 2 i sin 2 pi xi e, uh, c t into e to the power 2 pi i xi x d j. So, now, i i gets cancelled here. So, this is what we can we can write it down uh, here as i i goes away. So, this is 2 pi i whatever it is. So, with this calculation what it shows that we can write down um, uh, the solution in terms of the cosine and sine. So, actually now here we need to perform uh, the complex integral. So, with little bit of uh, patience and manipulation what one can do that suppose every phi hat of xi this is a complex number. So, this is mod phi hat of xi into e to the power minus 2 pi i some theta xi theta 1 xi this is the argument and psi hat of xi this is equal to mod of psi hat of xi and e to the power minus 2 pi i theta 1 uh, theta 2 of xi. Now, if I am looking at minus infinity to infinity phi hat of xi e to the power 2 pi i xi x then this is cos 2 pi xi c t d xi 
this I can break this integral minus infinity to 0 plus 0 to infinity and then by the change of variable here I am going to get 0 to infinity this is going to 0 to infinity phi hat of xi e to the power 2 pi i xi x cos 2 pi xi c t d xi plus 0 to infinity phi hat of minus of xi and then e to the power minus 2 pi i xi x cos minus xi is cos xi cos c t because cos is an even function and what we had noticed is that if we are uh, so calculating phi hat of minus of xi is equal to phi hat of xi bar. So, therefore, phi hat of minus of xi is the modulus of this if we plug in this 0 to infinity mod of phi hat of xi and then cos 2 pi xi c t and then if I add this then I am going to get that this is cos 2 pi xi x minus theta 1 of xi d xi. So, now this is a real valued integral we can calculate similarly we can calculate the other part of the psi hat of xi. So, with the similar argument for psi hat we get u of x t this is equal to 1 by 2 or some constant times mod of phi hat of xi cos 2 pi xi c t then this is cos 2 pi xi x minus theta 1 xi d xi plus 1 by 2 may be a factor. So, this is 0 to infinity psi mod of psi hat of xi and then sin 2 pi xi c t and then this is cos 2 pi xi x minus theta 2 xi and divided by some factor of pi xi c d xi. So, this is the solution of the wave equation u of x t. What it is uh, saying that it is given by the sine and the cos that means is uh, an infinite superposition of right and left moving planes and uh, the amplitude of each of these waves they are determined by the amplitude of phi hat of xi and then phi psi hat of xi by xi. So, the amplitude the wave is determined by amplitude of phi hat of xi and psi hat, psi hat of xi by xi. So, this is uh, uh, it and it is a superposition of uh, the moving planes. So, that is what is the uh, interpretation of uh, the solution d Alembert's formula. Okay. Now, we will uh, look at another application for a different kind of PDE. So, consider the equation x square u x x plus a x u x which is equal to u t. This is 
quite similar to a heat equation except that we do not have this term. So, now this is on r cross 0 infinity and which is given to us the initial value is f of x on r. This is our equation. Okay. So, now what we do is that we will make a change of variable. So, this is a variant, this equation is a variant of heat equation. We make a change of variable, substitute x is equal to e to the power minus of y and now y varies from minus infinity to infinity, y is in r. Therefore, x is always uh, positive and 0 to infinity and therefore, and define u of y or rather u tilde y t this is equal to u of e to the power minus of y t. So, and denote and f tilde of y, uh, y is equal to f of e to the power minus of y. This is you denote it. Then if we look at this problem star reduces to by just uh, taking the derivative, we will find u double tilde of y plus 1 minus of a u tilde y definition, this is equal to u tilde of t and u tilde y 0, this is equal to f tilde. Now, this if a is equal to 1, then this is usual heat equation. Now, we would uh, like to solve this. So, now if I take the Fourier transform then what do I get? I get uh, that by taking the Fourier transform, u tilde hat uh, u, u tilde y y uh, double derivative which is going to give me minus 4 pi square j square and then u hat at xi t, u tilde hat and from here this is 1 minus of a into 2 pi i xi and then this is hat of u tilde hat at uh, this u tilde hat at xi. This is equal to u t tilde hat of xi as we have seen that this partial derivative with respect to 2 and the Fourier transform they commute. So, now what we get is that uh, this is equal to u tilde t hat at xi. So, this is an ordinary uh, differential equation in uh, t variable. So, if we solve this then we are going to get that this will imply this will imply that u tilde hat at xi t, this is equal to some constant times e to the power minus 4 pi square j square plus 1 minus of a 2 pi i xi whole into t and then the constant is because we know that what is the value of u tilde hat 
0 uh, uh, this is uh, going to be at t equal to 0 then this is uh, uh, u tilde hat at uh, xi at 0 then this is equal to f tilde hat at xi. So, this constant is going to be f tilde hat at xi e to the power minus 4 pi square j square plus 1 minus of a 2 pi i xi into t. This is what is the solution for this. So, now if I take this as some function g, then this is going to be f, if this is g hat, then this is f tilde convolution of g of hat then I can find that u tilde is f tilde convolution of g. So, now what is that function g? This uh, already we know the Fourier inverse Fourier transform of this e to the power minus 4 pi square j square plus 1 minus of a 2 pi i xi t and then e to the power 2 pi i xi uh, of some this is y d xi because I am trying to find at the point y and this of course, is a known Fourier inversion formula. So, which is the sum adjustment with the Gaussian and if I take this along with this. So, I will get that uh, u tilde of y comma t this is equal to uh, integral of minus infinity to infinity f of xi uh, f tilde of xi and 1 by square root of 4 pi t by taking the Fourier transform with the dilation of the Gaussian this is minus of y minus j plus 1 minus of a t whole square by 4 t. So, this is uh, d xi. This now take xi is equal to minus of logarithm of n and y as we have taken minus of logarithm of x. Then what do we get? u of x t. This is equal to u tilde of y t which is equal to minus infinity to infinity, then this is f of an eta and e to the power minus log eta by x because this is xi and then plus 1 minus of a t whole square divided by 4 t. and the derivative is going to give me d eta by eta. So, this is this is what is the solution of this uh, one variant of the heat equation u x x plus uh, x square u x x plus a x u x is equal to u t. So, now, uh, so there will be other differential equation what we will be uh, doing it uh, by using uh, Fourier analysis technique, Fourier transform technique and uh, so one would uh, before coming to those application. So, it will be of interest to know that uh, if uh, we are uh, what we have noticed a beautiful property of the Gaussian that if f of x is equal to e to the power minus of pi x square, then what we have seen that f hat of xi is equal to e to the power minus pi xi square. So, now that means if I take uh, from the source space to the source space. Uh, then f of f equal to f hat, then this says that actually the Gaussian, this is an eigen uh, 
vector for this transform Fourier transform. It will be natural for us to ask that uh, what are the uh, other eigenvector uh, of uh, the, this Fourier transform that is one thing what we would like to discuss in the next lecture and another thing what we would like to be interested to find certain applications uh, of the Fourier transform in statistics and physics. Th thank you.